Hey there everybody, welcome to part 11 and today in this tutorial, we're going to be working on power-ups, okay? So first off, I want to show you some quick setup that I have and I'm not going to be typing throughout this video because I think that is what usually makes my videos longer. So I'm going to just be showing you guys what I've done and changes I've made. So first off, we're going to go over to our powerup.trc and this is a new scene that I made. And as you can see, it has a collision shape, a nice square collision shape. And the animation player is just the same from our pickup gun, which is going to make it float. Um, I think that's pretty much all. It has a sprite collision shape and an area 2D. So this has a script and inside the script, I'm just going to close out this information um, animation here. So inside the script, it's a built-in script actually. So in this, you see it extends area to the normals and we're going to be using signal. So I'm using this um, because I don't want to, I want to cover signals in this tutorial series and I've not actually covered it. So um, it's like killing two birds with one stone. So yeah, first off we make a signal and we do that by just putting the signal keyword in front of it and the name of the signal. And this signal is going to have a variable called type. So if I click on this area to the here and go over to node, you're going to see that it has player entered with a type variable in it. And if you want to just make a simple signal that doesn't have any um, variables, as you can see, I made a new signal, player enter, and over here it's being updated. As you can see, player enter with no variable in it. So that's a simple way to make signals, and uh, yeah. So for this enum, basically what I want to tell you about enums is that it's like an array, basically. So um, as I say enum, um, put curly brackets I can start typing I can say red comma purple so this red has an index of zero and this purple has an index of zero of one so anywhere I call red is going to be zero and anywhere I call purple is going to just like represent itself as zero so to, um, to demonstrate this I have this export variable here um, which is exporting an int variable and yeah the name is type as you can see is over here at, um, even in my inspector panel and red is equal to zero that's why it's zero and you may think um that's just what um, int is meant to do it's meant to put its default as zero but um if i change this red to purple as you can see auto corrects there um we're going to exchange this and you see one so purple is equal to one red is equal to zero i can have many stuff and just know that it must not be um, capital letter I can have something like green but in lowercase letters and it's the same thing I can update it here green and this guy is meant to turn to two yeah and it happened so yes that's pretty much the basics of enum with that being said as like I said before um, this is an export variable and this is going to be telling us the type of power up that is um, going um, that's being emitted here and this is going to tell us like the type of power up that, we're, that is being used here so that's why I'm making it an export variable so that you can um, actually change this for when we're instancing it in the game scene. So there are two types of power-ups in my game. If I go over here to the assets, you're going to see flask purple and flask red. And I know flask red is not in the assets in GitHub. Don't go around checking for it. I'm going to upload this flask red into the repository so that you can go ahead and download it there. Um, I'm sorry for the inconvenience. So yes we have our red one and the red one is meant to make our player to shoot three bullets at once and the flask purple is meant to make it to move faster um that's basically what i want to implement and over here in the ready function we're going to match type if i've not covered what matches mean in this tutorial series i just want to tell you that matches like each is like a multiple if statement so over here where i have um match type um red so if type if the type is equal to red that's a zero then we want to change the texture to a red one and if we want it to be purple we're going to um which is also known as one we're going to change that to the purple texture so yeah that's pretty much what we need then over here we just connect the signal from the area to the itself which is the body entered signal and anytime he enters a body we want to check if the body is the player which is body if the body the name equals player then we want to emit a signal player entered um this signal over here 
that we created and we're going to pass in the type that we are going to um, emit note that this type must not be the same as this type um, i can just name this to something different and it's going to work exactly as you can see um when we enter the player when we emit the signal we want to just q u e u e underscore free which is going to um, make us delete from the scene that means like we're hitting the power up or something and over here in game one i have a node here instance this is the node 2d i just renamed the power ups and i have instanced my power ups in here so as you can see there's power up and power up 2 power up is the red one which is a zero and power up 2 is the um sorry is the purple one which is meant to actually be a one i'm sorry for that yeah so uh, with that being said um no doubt it's we are almost done the power up is emitting the signal but there is nobody to get the signal and yeah it's meant to be the player but the problem is we cannot go around um doing this one by one go over here to node um, connect this to the player go over to the second one do the same thing so we're going to be doing that through code and in the player script over here in the ready we're going to just loop through all the nodes in the power ups and just connect it there so that's what these lines of code is doing these two lines of code is doing so for every child in get parents the get node power ups which is this power ups node here the get children so we want to connect child dot connect the player enter signal to ourselves to a power up function that we haven't created yet so the power up function is actually under here just simple funk power up i guess then in here we're going to pass in the type and that's the type that we also set in the power of the tscn so we're also getting that variable and we're going to match type again and if type is equal to one which means purple remember um zero and one so if if type equals to one which means purple then we want to move faster this is basically the code for that so first off we're going to make a variable previous speed and this is just going to um, be our current speed at that time and speed is going to multiply itself by two so we have um, we're going to move two times faster i guess and we're going to wait for five seconds so this is what this yield is doing so um, we're going to create the timer from the game and it's going to set to five seconds just know that you can change it to whatever you want depending on how long you want your time at um your power ups to last and we're going to wait for the timeout so when we time out we're going to set speed back to previous speed so yeah i think that's pretty much basic to understand and over here is zero which means red we want to shoot um first off we're going to check if we have a gun because we don't want to be shooting if we don't have a gun so if we have a gun then we want the change the state to be changed to shoot spread i have not um, i've not covered this but i'm going to do that in a second so gun dot state equals to shoot spread and we're going to wait for five seconds again and change the state back to shoot so we go over to the gun dot so over here with the gun we make a new variable called shoot and over here the player that's the variable that we're going to be changing to shoot spread and back to shoot so now when we press our fire key and we can fire we are going to call the state so this allows us to pass in a string so we pass in the shoot and if we scroll down here we're going to see that we have our shoot function and basically this is just instance a bullet like normal so in this case it's going to call shoot and over here the player when we hit the power up and it knows that it's this type it's going to change the state to shoot spread and if we try to shoot it's going to shoot spread um, which is this function here and over here in this function we just have a simple variable which is roots which is like the different rotations and this is minus 0 0.1 0 and 0 0.1 so for i in range 3 so um, for each of these values um, we want to instance a bullet and set the position set the rotation and the rotation you're going to add roots i so basically what this is doing is first off it's going to add roots um of the first index sorry yeah it's going to add this first index that's minus 0 0.1 which is going to be somehow at the left then 0 which is at the middle which is where it's meant to be and 0 0.1 which is somehow to the right so it's going to give us like that kind of three spreading bullet stuff and here we're going to add the screen shaker and we're going to set the magnitude to three 
so that it will just um, give it more um, flare. I think I should set the duration to, to 0 0.3 so that it will just um, make us feel like okay, we're not shooting just one bullet. So over here, we're going to can fire equals to false, and we're going to yield the timer and can fire equals to true. So if you don't know what this is um, doing, you can basically check in the description. I should leave a video to how I made the gun there and you will know how all that works um my, without that you just copy this code i guess so please i want you guys to remind me if i leave it in the comment if the, if i leave the link in the comments so yeah i think we should be probably done and i have no choice but to hit play and you see we have our um power floating really nicely i'm not gonna eat this red one because i don't have a bullet yet sorry because i don't have a gun yet i'm gonna eat the gun and once you see this you're gonna notice that i move faster for about five seconds then yep it has expired and i move slower now and as you can see i'm shooting normal one bullet if i eat this red one i should eat three i should shoot three bullets at once which is really cool and as you can see the screen is shaking a bit longer and stuff and the power up is over so yeah that's the, um, pretty much the way to make power ups um without making different scenes and stuff using signals so yeah i think that should be it for this tutorial i think in the next tutorial we're going to be working and as you can see over here we have a problem for child and get parents um, um this is just because um other game nodes don't have the power up. so an easy fix to this is basically if i go to game i'm going to instance a node there um and i'm going to go to game one first i'm going to just change the name of this to something else um, so that we won't run into any um, errors there and go back to the game and i want to create a new node which is going to be the node 2d and this is going to be our power ups and now we're not going to be getting an error if we try to enter game 2 and the reason we were getting the error was that it was trying to look for the power ups node and you didn't see it so what we're going to do is we're just going to copy these two power ups um drag them into that i'm going to delete this node and it should probably work now i'm not going to be testing it out but it should work on your machine so yeah that's it pretty much all i think thanks for watching see you guys next time smash subscribe as i said in the next tutorial i might um work on some high scores and stuff if you support that just leave a comment in the comment section but if you have any suggestions just leave it down and goodbye